Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. In the previous episode, we had... We have helped not just a fan to end the war, but we have brought pretty much two families to one. The Sandra, the Sandro, and the Matale. Matales have now joined families. I mean, we're never going to see it. It's not like... Yeah. The moment you complete the quest, it's like, okay. So, we are just going to run our way back. The rest of... We are completing the rest of Dantooine. Minus Crystal Cave, because we want to get the best crystals. Which we won't be able to get at a low level right away. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, Matale Grounds. So there should be nothing respawned other than the Horned Cat Hounds, which I'm gonna guess are the Eriacs. Which, as you can tell, the force is quite powerful. What can I do now? Uh, sure. Like, technically, if I wanted to, I could try to have left it level 3, then I would have... I would have had almost the final force power. I'm here. Red what? Oh my god. Why are they acting like this? Yeah, press B. Do you want to turn on? No. Okay. I'm just gonna let that guy run through. Oh no, I know what the ma- I know what- I know what the thumbnail is gonna be. It's gonna be a good thumbnail. Ruins. The mind look- yeah, awareness. Sometimes the loading screens are quick and sometimes they're very slow. What? What language is that? What are you trying to say? <laughs> so some of you that that that, that one I sound sounded I think sound like Tuscan Raider or Sam people. Bessel, do you have any idea what the droid's trying to say? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can produce any language spoken by slaves in the world. I recognize this language. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication files to ensure that the player's construct is as well according to the rules of the builders. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. I skipped through a, a little dial, a little parcel I could have said. Are you some type of guardian? I am the overseer. The builder, the builders program me to enforce the discipline among the slaves, while this monument to the power of the Star Force was constructed. At, at, at project completion, all slaves were executed. I was reprogrammed to serve. Should they build a return to insert the knowledge of Star Forge? How long have you been here? The chronological current have marked over technical revolutions of the system on the entire most planet around the sun since the building was left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. The builders constructed my chronological series of technological stuff. I 
calculations are infallible. Infallible. Who are these builders you keep talking about? The builder of the great master of the galaxy, the conqueror of all world, the builder, the ruler of the infinite empire, and the creator of the star These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Must have done something to wipe out the builders. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting, not just ending up their might in the fire of the Star Forge. What is the Star Forge? The Star Forge is glory of the builders. The Empire is a in the machine that can use the might to be a tool of unstoppable conquest. Can you be a little more specific? The Star Forge is glory of the builders. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. Things over and over. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. But in fact, it could be anything. Could, could it be a factory or a weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe That's the droid has more weapon. information we can use. Like it games. seems to respond a to you. Super perhaps weapon. you should ask it something else. about Revan and Malak, the ones who came before. The ones who came before are the ones like you, and not builders, but not slaves. Talk about Revan, talk about Malak and Star Wars and his origins. They proved themselves worthy. They, see the sea. they discovered the secrets of Star Wars locked behind the sealed door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the proving grounds, east and to the east and the west. Within those uh, who understand the will, the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will destroy the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Star Forge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us. Alright, so as you can tell, this is the proving ground for a certain temple. But before we go across, you would think, hey, maybe I get again our lightsaber from this. Nope. You get uh, the sigil crystal, ah, sigils, and the Jedi Knight robe, which, I'm of here. course, I'm not going to. I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to give it to her. I mean, she's really been the same stuff for the last, almost the entire time Ready? on this planet. Yes. All right, so, oof. Uh, we'll switch this out. To my good, to the good shield, yeah. And I will give her a two, two to five energy shield. Uh, Car still has his. All right, now. Yes. Start with me. I glow red. I'm here. What? Yes. All right. Let's do the first door. And this is how you do it. This is Let's go! Let's go! Ah, how'd you like that? There we go. Ah, how'd you like that? Let's make this! I'm here. And switch. He has more force than I do. Oh, yeah. I think I know which puzzle is that. That hit her that day. Ah. Four hundred and one of my five experience. 
Now this also gives me a wreckage of another one. So this might be the one that Nemo destroyed. Environmental shield level one, droid light plane two, and a motion sensor one. Now, ancient terminal. Talk to the terminal. The terminal, the computer goes silent. It, it's screen blank, then a few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. Insert your data pad into the receptacle. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again, then a more familiar character began to appear on the screen. Talk. The computer goes silent. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent in a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. Inter interrogative. Inform and identify three pli primary life-giving seed world planets. Well, as you can tell by the name, seed world, so... Of course, it would not be barren. It would be oceanic. Grassland. Arboreal, planetary type conductive to a life breaking life seal. So, if we failed that by clicking any wrong one, that robot would revive. Yes. In a sense, well. There we go, start. Go for it. Now, I'm always going to do this. It, it's going to be a Why did you use this? Most things are not really immune. Well, Oh. Another 420 yes. experience. Now, I don't think... Let me see. Yeah, no, there's nothing around. Alright. Now, we are going to do the same thing again. Talk. Say the same thing. Insert data. Pad. Talk. They have it began to process data from your pad. There we go. Boom. Interrogative. Identify three primary death giving seed world types. Desert, volcanic, <laughs> and barren. Breaking death seal. Death breaking death seal. So, by doing that, neither one of them have revived, which means we have completed. As you could just hear, that told you that the, si the seal has deactivated. Oh, God damn it, Basla. There we go. Okay, I'm I'm having my finger on the right on the button. Oh come on, show it. I I want us to get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't don't turn anyway. Don't turn. Ah, uh, cut off a this, bit. This must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. What is it? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves. But we must be wary. Very true. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. I still don't understand what the Star Forge. What about the Star Forge? What does it do? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. I need to get through this quickly, but not too quick. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. But I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge, whatever it is. See this world here. Uh, this if looks it wasn't like Korriban, talking, I the Sith useless. world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashyyyk and Tatooine, and here's Manan. There are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates. Corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where uh, the Star Forge itself might be. Perhaps the world will have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge. But I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. 
Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge. And some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might talk. very well Neither be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council guys. of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Come on. What can I do? Ready? Yes. There we go. Uh, okay. Now, uh, let's talk. Uh, Cart. Yes, what's in your mind? You seem very quiet lately. You know what? You know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Not the one leaving you out of the loop, Carl. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you uh... won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they don't they have to train you? It's been pretty well so far. It's, I've done pretty well so far. That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. You're a okay. neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi yeah. keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I am not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Well, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Now let's talk to her. How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between Please. us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Sure, yeah, you can sure understand why. Up. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay, I'll answer a few questions. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. Oh, yeah, I'll keep my hands First, up. what kind of background do you have? I was a smuggler before I joined the fleet. Good. On which planet were you born? Theralaya, in a remote system. Why? No, I, 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 I'm from Kashyyyk. Can't you tell I'm a Wookiee? I just shaved all the hair. Except my little uh, goatee right here. Theralaya. It's a remote system. Why? Oh, excellent. Your current age is? Wasn't that in all in my... 3,112... Or 3,012. Healthy living, you know? Wasn't that all in my service record? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your you never know how old your character you. is. You never this will. was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. 
Okay. Do 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 and let's do it. You have proved yourself worthy. The sealed door is open. If you are to learn the secrets of the dark lord, you must pass the door to the room beyond. I've already done that. I shall remain here as programmed by the builders. Okay. And now we exit. Wow, the map's actually there a lot longer than usual. It's usually like I get out of there and then it's like starting to disappear. And it's like, what? But this time it's like, boom, I'm staying open. Uh, 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 I'm staying open. Like, really? Why? Why the one time you actually stay open? And then again, it's not Xbox, so. Uh, maybe they changed that, but. Oh, really? There we are. Oh, I'm stuck again. Get closer. Yes. Time to rumble. There we go. Stun. Yeah. Anti stun lock. I get stuck, but I need that. He got stunned, I guess. Yeah, I know we could just uh, see what. Yeah, let's see what you saw. There are this area is technically only half the sides we get to go through. Oh, I might need to keep that. Oh. Eh, let's saw this. Um, we might just sell that. Sell that. I thought I sold all these. I might have got some new ones, so that might be why. Um, cardio is one constitution, dexterity. Yeah, I still got this. Yeah, we, we're gonna. I don't know why I still have that for some reason. See, the other half of this map, you really can't actually explore. This will technically. Yeah, yes, you are Jedi. I'm grateful for your people who are over me in times of need. What happened to you? I'm a victim, a refugee, yes. I left my home. I saw Sith bomb. Sith fleet came, yes, they found my world. They scoured the continent and boiled the ocean. They took our land, yes. But I ran here, find Jedi are right here. Oh no, they take me in. My no. If you want a dark point, that you can just say that, and that he may or may not give you something. Depending on your help, if you can persuade him. Now, see, you should be able to go through it, but look. But this technically goes deeper. I'm not gonna really tell you how far it goes, but you may see that if we play the second game. Which, dude, depending on. If this one, if this, if it turns out how this one turns out where I can't do cutscenes, then it may be as like this. But what sucks is there's tons of good cutscenes in both these games. Like legitimate scenes where it will just be like, what? I do not know what the council has in. Master Jar tells me you have successfully completed the tests. And I even see you have constructed your own lightsaber. You should be proud of your accomplishment. But never forget that you still have much to learn. As your power grows, you will constantly face temptations to slip to the dark side. This is the eternal struggle of the Jedi. Now, uh, I, I don't know, maybe after this, I might try a full dark play. Like, just do the evil stuff. I mean, uh, I'm trying to figure out. If I do, I'm not gonna be able to really do all their, uh, play through all their areas. Questing. Let me talk to the droid. Hi. Aren't you just a sweet little droid? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I'd lost him. 
Bye. It's just so good to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we, my lovely little droid? Don't worry. Please kill me. I don't think I ever felt so bad for a droid before. Yeah, see, this is why I said I don't know if I did the right thing. Because she is just... I think she's beyond psychotic. The loss of her husband's completely driven her to the insanity. I think her husband killed himself. I'm not gonna lie, I think her husband killed himself. Um, uh, yes. Let's unlock this door, because it'll be the only time to do it now. But, we're gonna... Uh, let me see. Armor, a tiny fiber. The other one's not upgradable. Let me see. That's maxed out. Okay. We got four lightsabers right now. This will give me an extra one damage. Uh, look, look at it. Special properties. Attack bonus one. Damage bonus energy. 1d6. I think it's a one side, one six sided die. Special upgrade lightsaber. Okay, so it's 316. Alright, 16? Yeah, no, 316. Oh! Okay, so it increased it by one, but then gave it a full six. Oh, okay. And now, even though I. Uh, here, the, yeah, my lightsaber will always, I think, be in my right hand. My lightsaber. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map that and mention of a something called the Star Forge. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi... No victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets yep. but it was incomplete it did not show the location of the star forge itself we believe there may be similar star maps on other planets each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle find the star maps on kashik tatooine manam and korriban and we believe they will lead you to the star forge I am ready to do the Council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged Not by really. this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to undertake this task? Come on. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Of course. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And yep. Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. I mean, they technically... They possess skills you may find useful in your own the ship, so... Remember that secrecy and discretion 
are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can count on me, I will not fail. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy <laughs> is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. Now they never send Greetings, them. young Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge? As chronicler of the Academy, you should ponder the history. This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. Darn. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. I know this was like before Anakin turned to a dark side, but it feels right now as a, an episode the Force. three moment. Well, I want knowledge that only a master can get to. I'm not gonna lie, but the master just happens to be black, and I happen to be white. Anakin, Anakin, Mace Windu, huh, 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 huh. If you have a purple lightsaber, then I'm going to. Put my hand down and say that that's just it. That's it. That's it. But each lightsaber in this game technically has like the same form. Except Bostola somehow has it's different. But as of right now, until we actually leave the plant, we have completed everything on Dantooine. Well, Almost everything. There's still one thing we do have to complete. But we'll do it after two of star maps. Greetings, young Padawan. I trust your training goes well. Yeah. With power, I wish you luck in your... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so she has nothing really important to say, as usual. She makes a snide remark, then thanks you for saving her friend. And had nothing else really important to say. These Jedi have nothing important to say except the same meaningless dialogue. So let's talk to this person. I feel like he has something to say. Hey. Okay. A word, if I may. There are many rumors that about your most recent meeting with the council. There is talk that they're about. They're sending you on a mission to help against Malak and the Sith. How do you know what the council gave me a mission? I saw you going to, into the council chambers. You were in there for some time. I naturally assume the, ga the council had given you some task to perform. Please understand that I am not trying to ask you to reveal anything that could endanger the order of the public. Whatever task the council gave you has, to give, has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only want to wish you well and warn you be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the dark side. What could be more dangerous than the Sith? Well, as we've seen, there's a Rancors. But man, that, that might be the only one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's all, we, that's all there is. Well, there's gonna be some other creatures, but you'll see. Each technically, each game I think has their own like monster boss creature. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, 
you, you, we'll see. What could be more dangerous than the set? Master Dora can train, bend, train me to succeed him as Chronicler here in the Academy. In my study, I have come across some creatures, uh, creatures that are born to dark side. Monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations are the ten... The Terran A creature that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to the ravenous hunger. What makes this creature so dangerous? The creature is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong with a primal cunning. And they have an inborn resistance to the force. There are some who believe the creature is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the Gap Town. Unfortunately, the, unfortunately, the creature is very rare, only dwells in most dangerous dark, darkest places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. It sounds like they're extinct. This is not the first time the creature has vanished for a long period of time. Many believe they lay dormant for years, only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from the dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, I will not, I will not be surprised if the Council organize another great hunt to try to exterminate them. The great hunt? What's that? Well, we're going to get a little more lore. I'm sorry I'm going through quickly, but I kind of want to get through because as you see, some stuff they do say kind of goes quick as you, you are going to tell. I'm going to hate the next area. I am going to be freaking horse after it. The Great Hunt, what's that? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping rebuild from the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during this period, just disappearing for a variety of worlds without warning. They do not, we do not know if they have been slain and told they may lay by and be discovered. The council investigated and discovered that the creature had were the creatures were behind the killing. It was a sight the galaxy had to be purged of those insatiable monsters throughout the cost. Throughout, through, though the cost proved to be high. The cost proved high. So the Jedi is just killed these creatures. The creature are, abominate, are an abomination. They are a ruthless engine of, ruthless engine of death and destruction. The council had no choice but to destroy them. For the greater good of the galaxy, many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the plants that were suspected to be harboring the creatures. The Great Hunt did not rest until all the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There are rumors of some still being on the planet Korriban, the dark world some believe to be the birthplace of the Sith. There, that is where Exar Kun was corrupted during the First Sith War. They never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing many Jedi might fall to the dark side, declaring the Great Hunt officially over. Those three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. Why? What was so special about those three? The Jedi chosen to continue the hunt on their own were Duran Quel Drama, Yun Han Suresh, and Shayla Nern. These three shared a powerful bond in each god. John, the, yeah, the council felt that together they were able to defeat the creature they found. By supporting each other, they could resist the temptation of the Korriban and the lure of the dark side. Yeah. Good the council felt this was too dangerous to anyone in search of their remains. So their exact fate is not known, but let their death serve as a warning to Padawan. Thanks for the warning, I'll be careful. Final warning, Padawan, as you go. Do not underestimate the creature. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappear after the Great Hunt. Oh, God. Okay, we just activated. He, we were close to his activation range anyway. Okay. Oh my god. Don't hide one GG, you might are always welcome in the outpost. I'm here to serve you. What do you know of Mandalorian? Only a nuisance to the former Nabu, settlers. They don't have the resource to penetrate the space, so I do not know them firsthand. What do you have in stock? For droids. He pretty much sells stuff for droids. 
Huh. Ooh. No, it's not it. Not the one I'm looking for. The one I'm looking for has like a higher security plus. Okay, so if I'm correct, I think he has something remaining. Congratulations, Senor. I've you decided to join Jedi Rank to file. Jedi Revan. Another fresh face for Prince is ready to jump into the training with both feet. Oh, best of luck is all I can say. It's always good to see another ally against the dark side corruption. What can you do? What do you have against Kipuna? I don't blame him, really. How has it gotten worse? Oh my God. Oh my Okay, so I don't think he... Okay, so I don't think I can get it then. Huh. We're so close to it. I technically want to get this. It just sounds so cool. And it's upgradable. Like with all this plus some upgrades? Bro. That would make the weapon too powerful. Well, this can't be really increased, so we're going to sell it. Never, I don't know anybody in my group that's going to wear that. To be honest, I don't think anybody's going to really wear the, use the weapon either, so... Of course I will. No, don't want to look like a bug eye. Pull him out. Yes. Let me. I'm just gonna pull everybody out just for. Hmm. See, I might. Uh, I want to do this before we leave, so I can. Huh? I'm just gonna do this now because it's gonna be, it doesn't feel like it's really short, but it might be for all I know. Alright. We're gonna increase his, we're gonna buff out his gunsmanship completely. And she also, she has a Jedi Knight robe. A red one. See, you also t saw that she has her own stealth. But we're gonna look at her character sheet. She does have some dark force powers, of course. She has slow, and I think that's it. Oh, she also has affect mine, which is surprising. I mean, legitimately, that's really surprising. Well, of course, you gotta get heal. All my Jedi will have heal. Since she's a guardian, she might as well have a bit more strength. Uh, I guess let's give her... <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna help. I guess while I'm doing this, you guys maybe hit that like button. 
hit that subscribe button too and maybe the notification bell to be notified next time I throw up another video. I could just do it to where they pick it for me, but I'd rather not. Alright, so I guess before we really leave any planet. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. You thought Darkseid had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Don't worry, Johanny. I forgive Thank you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that uh, in our time not journey the first time. together, I will succeed. It ain't gonna be the last time someone's gonna take my life. <coughs> so, let me see if I can... Talk to her again. How may I be of a I wonder if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become a chip? Are you alright? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. What, why? What's wrong? I have been thinking about myself. Yes, I'm gonna get through her talking to and about the my quest fall for her. To the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. Perhaps you need just some more, need some more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the council agreed to send me with you. They think perhaps Quick, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. If I see you begin to slip back, I will intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company yeah. and trust. All right, now let's talk to Yeah, what do you want? I wonder if you have more, any more war stories. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. Hmm. What do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. Ooh. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most. Maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. What happened next? It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. Oh, jeez. A ship. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? 
Your choice. Mars a droid. Actually, increase the secure, or I might increase the demolition next. Huh. Well, in truth, I can just do that. Well, no, I want to keep uh, getting these up. All right, so let's give him. Wait, what does he have? Actually, weapon focus blaster. Weapon focus blaster. So he doesn't really need that then. See, this is a light. It's technically a medium, but it's part. It's a plate one. But this this light one's a plate two, which is even which is just as good. Uh, I guess I'll get the blast the heavies out. at least get them everyone leveled up because I'm not entirely sure when next time I'm gonna pull anybody out and by that I mean like actually pull any of these people out see no no charisma of course implant level three some more health. I think I don't know if, eh, oh well. Boom. Oh. And uh, I think he was one of the few that I was switching between abilities to use. should be it. Sorry, I, d I have no idea who you're talking about. Oh, that's too bad. I shall continue my search. I'll keep an eye out for the girl. I would appreciate that, sentient. Oh well. Okay, so some girl's gone missing. Eh? That's not good. We're finally going into the Evan Hawk. Oh my god. It is so dark. So, mission has hey room what can over I do here. Okay. We can get security spikes from her. I 
think those are the ones where you, yeah, I think they're the ones that you actually go in, that you go in and do. Well, now we can upgrade everything here. See, like, hit, like we have nothing left for guns, so. Blades don't need anything. Lightsabers and, yeah, that's just it. I think he can. Yeah, what do you want? I wonder if you any more wars. I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you, but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Tell me about the story. Tell me the story. For five days, they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Althiri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Did it work? Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening, a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. You were a great warrior, Candor. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. Oh, yeah, the command either, vessels either. were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings, or crashed into rocks, or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? No, no, that's it. Your choice. We just got a little, uh, yeah. So he's gonna tell us about the war against Revan next time we talk to him. Let's talk to her. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Why don't we get up? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Please, yes, please continue. Well, it goes back I'm sorry, everybody. Years. We're going through back so much conversation. World, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. What is the Cathar homeworld like? It was not the homeworld of the Cathar that I lived on. My parents had long fled from that place, and perhaps that is a story for another time. Rather, it was a human hive world that I was raised on, the hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. Oh, yeah. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Jedi? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. So what did you From do? that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon yep. as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Oh, yeah. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Of course. 
So there are, there might be at least two more things we'll be talking. But I'm gonna guess this might, hopefully it'll be the last of the talking. And then yep, this is a galaxy map. The Ebon, the Ebon Hawks on board navigation appear. When you're ready to leave Dantooine, use the galaxy map to travel to the other planets around the galaxy. A destination is still stored in Ebon Hawks Pier from the last trip that had been made with it. Yes, what's on your mind? You... How can I help? You have something you want to talk about to me? How did you know? Just tell me. It's... <laughs> Either... Uh, well, your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath puppy. Or Kinrath pup. Uh, <laughs> well, you keep staring at me. See anything... <laughs> As you can guess by the way you keep staring. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, the bond we share. Maybe. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. What do you think I should do? You could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark, twice for light. What do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I wonder why. I will try. It's good to hear. Without the proper training, however... I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Uh, I won't do anything to hurt you. It works both ways, doesn't it? You can help me stay yes, strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there uh, are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I appreciate any, uh, any help you can offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Okay. Talk to him one more time. Let's yes, see, what's in your mind? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think. Never you on. got it. Okay, okay. We are going to save here because... Revan Dantooine, this is the final point where we're ending this. Save. Let me see, let me see. 10 hours and 41 minutes. So from this one to that, wow. That's almost an hour. That's over an hour actually, crap. All right, so at the moment I, well, I'm gonna show off the four, the few areas. We have Kashyyyk, Dantooine, Manan, more close, Dantooine and Manan are close to the core world. You have Korriban, more near the Outer Worlds. You have Tatooine on the, in Hut Space, right in this area, I think. And then you have Yavin, which we will most likely... Oh, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work out. Uh, okay. I could start off there and then we go to the actual plant we're going to. 
I mean, Yavin is only... It's like... Uh, like these coordinates point to a small space station orbiting the giant gas Yav, the j gas giant Yavin. I mean, if I click here, we're just we're going to a special store. Which, as of right now, I guess. Yes. But if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and maybe check out my channel to see what other videos you might like to watch. And uh, maybe hit that notification bell to be notified next time I throw up another video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Because the moment I click this, it'll most likely end. Bye bye! Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malik.